Hello, I'm Ron Miscavige, and this is Storytime, and I am your storyteller. So I welcome you to this little bit of time, and today's story is absolutely going to benefit you. So please take the time to watch this whole thing, because at the end you can apply what I'm talking about, and it'll benefit you today and probably for the rest of your life. Now, before I get into it, though, let me take care of a little business to begin with, and that is this. If you'd care to support the ongoingness of this program or the other ones I do, you can become a Patreon or do a one-time donation through PayPal, and the, the links of this are in the description of this video. Okay? So now, business out of the way. Let me get into the story. And today's story, I'm going to bring up some ads that were in a newspaper in the 40s. And this is ads for jobs, for people needed to fulfill jobs or, you know, wanted ads. And so let me get right into it. Remember, this is in the 40s now. Okay, here's the first job. And that job is this. Separating fly shit from black pepper with boxing gloves on. Must bring own boxing gloves. Okay. Uh, this other job. Handyman needed with a sharp saw cut toilet seats in half because wife's half-assed brother is coming for a visit. Okay, here's a good job. Okay, and here's another one. And by the way, if anybody doesn't know what a roundhouse is, these are places where you'd put a steam in, or an engine and it would park there and it could turn in a circle. It was called a roundhouse. And this is a job cleaning the corners in a roundhouse will provide broom. Okay. Now, here's another one on the apartment complex on Willard and Fifth. And this apartment has a predominance of cockroaches in the corners of their apartments. And they want somebody to come in there with pointy shoes to kill the cockroaches. Must bring own pointed shoes. Okay, there's an example of some of the good jobs in the 40s. Now, here's a public service announcement. And this was sent in by uh, Mark Willard. Mark said he was walking through the cemetery, which is a shortcut to his house, and a full moon was out, and all of a sudden this voice started yelling, Mark, Mark, Mark. And he said, oh, Lord, please don't take me. I'm only in my 30s, you know. So now the clouds come out and covered up the moon, and he kept on walking, and the voice stopped, and he felt relieved. He says, oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you for having mercy on me. So he gets to the edge of the cemetery, the clouds park, the clouds part rather, the moon comes out in full, and he hears the voice yelling, Mark, 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 and he looks to his left, and there's a dog with a hair lip barking at the moon. Okay, well maybe that's how the name Mark got started. Now, uh, here's another one, and this is in the public outhouse in the town park in the center of town. In those days, they used to have public outhouses, kind of like porta potties, but these were outhouses. Now, this was sent in, this story was sent in by a guy who was already in there reading a newspaper. <coughs> a gentleman came in, sat down on the other hole, did his number, pulled up his pants, and as he was pulling up his pants, some loose change fell down the hole. And so he took out his wallet and threw a $20 bill down. And the other guy says, What the hell are you doing? And the guy says, look, you don't think I'm going down there for 35 cents, do you? All right. Obviously, this is intended to give you a little bit of laugh, and I hope that it did. Let's talk about laughter and the value of having a good laugh. There was a guy by the name of Norman Cousins who lived in his 60s, and his doctor gave him six months to live. He fired his doctor... He bought a movie projector, and he bought Marx Brothers movies. Watched them every day. 20 years later, he was still living. This is an actual story. You can look it up on the Internet. Let's talk about the Italians. Many centuries ago, the Italians believed that laughter was the only valid mental therapy. It could cure depression, melancholy, mental disease. And let me tell you something. I have a tendency to believe this, because what makes me feel good, uh, among other things, but uh, mostly this, is having a good laugh. 
you actually feel refreshed. You forget what was bu bugging you, if there was anything bugging you. So that's my advice for today. Have a good laugh. Now, whether that's looking at a good movie that you know you're going to get a laugh out of, or maybe something on the internet, or maybe thinking of some jokes, have a laugh. It won't cost you anything, and it's going to be benefit you health-wise and mentally. That was my message for today. It is my message for today, and I advise you to take me up on this. Look, there's an old saying, the road to hell is paved with good advice. That may be true, but today's advice might be the best advice, excuse me, may be the best advice that was ever given to you for your own health. So that's what I wanted to tell you about, and along with this, I would like to wish all of you a happy, successful, wealthy wife. <laughs> Let me give you that again. If you have a good wife, that helps too. Everybody have a nice, happy, successful, happy life. God bless all of you. And in these days, I'd also like to say God bless America. I am Ron Miscavige. This has been Storytime. I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye now.